Um, in uh, 2011, when these three very nice gentlemen um, gave us an offer we couldn't refuse at AdMob, and uh, we sold it for $750 million. Um, <coughs> that gave me an opportunity, I suppose, to uh, reevaluate my life and, and goals and decide what I wanted to do next. And my idea was basically to help the UK to be a better place to start and run uh, a tech startup. That was my big, so hairy ambition, and obviously the emphasis there was on helping rather than doing it all myself. And I did that in two ways. First of all, um, quick. First of all, um, uh, the, 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 what I what identified as being one of the most important things was was it being investing um, in startups and um, and helping them financially to get going. But the, probably the most important part of it was actually to become a mentor. This uh, gentleman on, on your right uh, is, is the original mentor, called Mentor, funnily enough, which is where we get the name. And uh, he, he helped uh, Telemachus um, uh, be inspired to, to go off and do, do whatever he was doing. Um, mentor himself actually wasn't a very good teacher, um, but he was occasionally occupied by the goddess Athena, who used him as a sort of vehicle to give great advice, and that's where, where the name came from. So... Unlike a lot of angel investors, I wanted to get, actually get involved and mentor the companies I, I invested in. Um, since then, I've invested in 25 companies, um, and I've also joined the government to help startups um, fundraise um, in, in what's called the Afterburner program, which I'll talk about a little bit more in a minute. I've also joined um, Techstars Accelerator, which helps startups, and in total, that means I've mentored around 100 companies since I started to do this. These ones are the particularly successful ones who've gone on to raise uh, Series A funding from venture capitalists, and so they're well on the way to becoming, hopefully, future ad mobs. Now, why mentoring, mentoring is important um, is something I've noticed while I've been mentoring these hundred or odd companies, is that how these founders think about mentoring actually is a predictor of their success. The ones who attract mentors attract lots of mentors, and then actually manage to be singularly disrespectful of their time. In other words, they, they get much more time out of these important people um, than they would perhaps deserve. Is a real skill and something which these guys have mastered and hopefully will go on um, to master for other people as well. But I think the corollary is also true. The people who don't master, master mentoring never actually seem to get off the ground. So if I invest in a company and I don't hear from them for a month, I've sort of mentally almost written them off because they're not going to master the skill. They think they're going to be doing it on their own, uh, and that's a, a fallacy. They won't be able to do it. So great mentor mentors um, attract great founders, and great founders attract great mentors, and that's really important to understand. So what, do we, what does mentoring mean exactly? Well, first of all, it's somebody who helps, who's going to help you repeat their success. Um, somebody who's done it before um, and who, who will help you on your journey in startup world or indeed anything, you, any new skill you're likely to master. As an example, if you want to learn polo as an example, the person who's going to be able to teach you best is the best person who, who, who you know who can play polo, not somebody who doesn't know how to mount a horse. And it can actually be specifically around one specific area. For instance, we often hear these days of young people mentoring older people about th things like social networking and technology. But where it's sort of effective in my life about mentoring is the Afterburner program I, I mentioned before. In the UK, um, startups find it very difficult to go on to raise Series A funding, so it's quite easy to raise their initial little seed fat round, but to go and get a venture capitalist to actually invest in you in your company is, is notoriously difficult. Um, so when I joined the government, I was asked to how, how we would um, tackle this issue. And uh, having had a little bit of experience in this, I decided that the fundamental issue wasn't the companies weren't good enough, it's just that they weren't very good at, at actually raising money from venture capitalists. They didn't know what to say, their pitch decks weren't very good, their presentation style wasn't very good. So mentoring around a specific topic which you want to master is really important. 
And I'm pleased to say that with the Charles Seeley, my colleague out in California who, who helps with this process, that since April um, of last year, April 2014, we've actually gone on to raise $50 million so far for the companies we've been mentoring in this. So I think that proves that mentoring around a subject as well as generally kind of works. You want to avoid bad actors, um, unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, Sylvester Stallone won the um, Worst Actor of the 20th Century Award in the Raspberries um, recently. And, um, but in the context of mentoring, what does that mean? Well, I think there's two things, really. One of which is, um, have they done this before? That's really important. I mean, a lot of people try to get into mentoring when they're not actually ready or they haven't got the right skills um, to teach. But I think more importantly, it's an attitude thing. Why are they doing it? Um, the very best mentor relationships don't start off with, as a financial arrangement. You shouldn't be paying your mentors, although that relationship might change over time. But the most important thing is that they agree to give you your time and effort because they believe in you and your vision and your idea. Um, so if they're, if they're uh, asking for money from day one, it's completely the wrong choice of mentor and you should, and you should run a mile. But the other thing is, is that you know, mentors are like any other employee. You need to take references out of them. So just so somebody um, um, wants to be your mentor and you think that they've succeeded, I think you should, you should talk to your peers, your colleagues, other people they've mentored in the past uh, and find out if they've really done a good job. Um, chemistry is, is also really important. You know, you've got to spend time with these people. They've got to share your values. Um, and you've got to enjoy each other's company because hopefully it's going to be a, a long, long journey which you'll go together. You'll be seeing each other regularly and it's important you get on. The most important quality of a mentor is to tell you the truth uh, in a completely unadulterated fashion, if you like, in a blunt fashion. You don't want people to sugarcoat the, you know, their words and their advice. And if you can't um, take the, the sort of bluntness, you shouldn't really probably be an entrepreneur in the first place. In criticism and of helping you avoid the rocks on your journey is really, really important. So they must be prepared to tell the pure, unadulterated truth, and you must be prepared to listen. I think the most important skill as a, of a mentor is to, is to be a great listener. Uh, if they don't listen to you and your problems, how are they going to really solve them and help you talk, think, them, think them through? Um, in my head, there's sort of two types of successful people, um, one of whom is sort of very ego-driven. Um, they like the sound of their own voice, and when, they, when you listen to them or overhear them giving a mentoring session to somebody else, it's all about them, and they're talking all the time. But actually, that's not very, very helpful for you. You don't want to know what they've done. You want their opinion on what you've done. So being a listener and, and effective listening and then telling that truth back to you is, is the most important thing. It's also very important from a mentor point of view to take a step back and realise you're no longer the one in the driving seat. Your job is to advise, to whisper in their ear, uh, to help them through their problems. But at the end of the day, it's their decisions. The reason why those successful people I mentioned earlier on uh, are great founders is because they ask lots of people their advice uh, and they listen to lots of advice and then they come with their own decision. They are in the driving seat and, it, and it's no longer the entrepreneur or the, or the mentor who's, who's actually been the successful one here. A mentor needs to be upbeat and positive. Um, God knows being a, uh, a founder and entrepreneur is a really tough thing to do. It's probably the most tough thing you can ever do in business. And it's going to be a rocky ride in the, even in the, in the best startups. So your, your mentors need to be your greatest supporters. They help, help lift you up when you feel down. And when you're going through that grind of everything seems to be going wrong, they're your cheerleader. So how do you get a mentor? Um, easier said than done. Um, I think the hack here, the easy way to do it if you're a startup, is to join uh, one of the world-class accelerator programs that exist these days, which are all uh, very much uh, around mentoring and driven by mentoring. Techstars is one I, I mentor at, at, um, at, at Lon in London, um, but there's 1,500 applications for every 10 seats, um, so it's pretty tough competition. Y Combinator is another great one. You can tell by an accelerator um, how effective they are about the quality of their mentors, and it's not just about the people they've got on their website, it's are they going to turn up, are they going to work hard at it, are they actually going to do some mentoring rather than just lend their names to it. But it's not for everybody um, going to an accelerator, and so how would you do that, but go about doing it if, if you didn't um, go on an accelerator? Well, there's a couple of ways, one of which is you can ask them for a cup of coffee, um, 
seriously, never ask them for a cup of coffee. I get 80 cups of coffee offers uh, every month, uh, and even in the best possible way, I can never take it all up. Um, <clears throat> It's also, um, even if I wanted to, uh, an impossible use of my time. And anyway, it's not being very creative at the end of the day as an entrepreneur. Uh, you need to um, tap into your, uh, into your inner Steve Jobs, your, your genius of, of, your, of, your, of your foundership, uh, and work out how you can actually get people's attention. So uh, one way as an example, uh, which I've seen very effective, is to find out what your prospective mentor wants in life, what they're interested in, and see if you can be useful. So perhaps your prospective mentor will be giving a, a TEDx talk in a couple of months' time. You know, could you help with the slides? Could you help as a sounding board? Could you help them rehearse? That would be an example. Or if they're really into a charity, can you help them in some way? Um, Another very effective way I've seen doing it is to ask them a specific question and ask for a 10-minute Skype call. Now, it's very easy for me to turn down an hour's cup of coffee, but I'm probably going to make the time, as indeed most people who are into mentoring, for, for, to discuss a very specific um, topic around um, a 10-minute Skype call. So again, that, that's, some, that's a starting point, and once you've started, you can start building the relationship, and who knows where it's going to end. So I suppose my message today, really, is um, if you're a young person uh, wanting to make your way in the world, um, mentoring is a very important tool, uh, and it can accelerate uh, your, your success. That's particularly the case if you're a startup, but also if you want to learn any particular skill, ask somebody who's done it before to be your guide. And the other thing I'd like to say is that um, if you have skills which the world can share, if you want to be a mentor, it's tremendously satisfying, and I urge you to take the plunge. It's great. Thank you very much.